Our series of More Perfect Union aims to show that what unites us as Americans is far greater than what divides us. This morning, we're introducing you to a group that's teaching young women and girls to find their own voices through the arts. CBS This Morning Saturday co-anchor, that's Dana Jacobson, has this very inspiring story. Dana, good morning, good to see you. Good morning, good to see you too, Gail. It is called Girl Be Heard, part acting, part activism. The program reaches young women and girls ages 11 to 21 through a traveling company, a free after-school program, and also weekend community programs. The group's philosophy is to encourage the next generation of leaders through the power of performance. You are not his trophy. You are not everyone's best wishes. You are your own. Alyssa Martinez's love for poetry and performance inspires her to create art with a purpose. The 20-year-old is a mentor for Girl Be Heard, a theater collective empowering young women and girls through the arts. It's a pleasure, honestly, to introduce those things to other girls uh, from my community. Everyone needs a role model. Everyone needs someone that they can be vulnerable with and say, like, I want to talk about this, or I'm not sure about this part of myself. I want my words to open doors that have never been opened before. Getting them to be comfortable to do anything and say anything around others. Kim Sykes is the program's artistic director. Girl Be Heard's mission is to develop, amplify, and celebrate the voices of girls through socially conscious theater making. We have girls from all walks of life. Some come in, they want to be leaders. Some come in, they don't have any idea what they want to do. The world sees me as weak, but I'm a force to be reckoned with. It feels like so empowering to be there. Madison Clark, Janiah Pompey, and Persephone Leonte, all seventh graders, say being in the Girl Be Heard after school program has helped them gain more confidence and self esteem. I think the little exercises have a bigger lesson to it. If you really break it down, you can understand it. The world sees me as, like, as my gender, but I'm really human. A safe space to talk about difficult but important topics. Consent. Definition. My permission for something to happen. My agreement to do something, and that's what you needed. Why do you think a poem has made you feel comfortable with an issue like consent? There's people who don't understand it, and they cross that line. And if you hear a poem about consent, you realize what consent is, or like what it can be, but what it isn't. That's like really, it makes more sense when you understand what it is and what it isn't. Did you ever think that performance or art could be that powerful? Yeah, we were talking about depression, how girls are coming more likely to have like depression. When people, like young girls, speak about that and be like, oh, like, I'm not the only person dealing with this. Somebody else like, could be dealing with that out there, too. So these performances, be it a song or a poem or a story, are helping you to realize that you're not the only one dealing with some of these issues. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Girl Be Heard's message has reached audiences from the UN to the White House. Why is it important that girls be heard? I think that it's important that girls are heard because we have such powerful voices. It's m more than just a girl talking. It's someone who's powerful enough to say their, say how they feel and make it stick. As long as I'm comfortable with it mm -hmm. and I'm like feel a thousand percent with it, nobody can tell me anything. And that's what this group makes me feel like. Yeah. 